Okay guys, let's continue. In this video, we'll walk step-by-step -step through the process of programming a Mercedes-Benz key using the Autel EM608, paired with the XP400, G-Box2, and the IR key emulator, also known as the APB125. Let's start with a basic setup. First, connect the APB125 key emulator to the XP400 programmer. This connection is critical to allow communication between the device and the vehicle's electronic ignition switch EIS unit. Once the APB125 is plugged in, the screen will confirm that the connection is successful. At this point, it will prompt you to insert the key emulator into the EIS keyhole in the vehicle. This step allows the system to begin reading the internal EIS data using infrared IR communication. As shown here, insert the emulator directly into the vehicle's ignition key slot. Now, the screen may tell you this process will take anywhere between 10 and 50 minutes. However, based on experience, it typically completes within 8 to 15 minutes, depending on the specific vehicle model and EIS unit response time. I've seen most cases finish around the 8 to 10 minute mark. For the sake of time, we'll cut ahead once the process is done. While it's working, let's quickly review the full connection setup again so it's clear. The OBD connector is plugged into the vehicle's port. That cable runs into the G-Box. The G-Box is connected to the XP400, and the IR key emulator, APB125, is inserted into the ignition. All of this is powered by the Autel tablet's charger, which you plug directly into the G-Box. Now, back to the process. Once the system completes its reading, you'll see password calculation success on the screen. That means the EIS password has been successfully extracted. Click OK to proceed. Now go back to the main menu and from there tap on EIS tool. This will lead us to the next stage. Let me pause for just a second to explain something important. In some upcoming videos in the course, you'll notice that certain programming segments may not have voice commentary. They are silent screen recordings with written instructions instead. If any step isn't clear, the written instructions will still guide you step by step. You'll always know exactly what to do. Back to the operation. After selecting EIS tool, tap on Read EIS Data. Then select IR on Bench, GBox207 if you're working off the vehicle. In our example, we've already completed this connection, so we're ready to move forward. At this point, the screen will again prompt you to insert and remove the key emulator into the EIS several times to continue reading data. Be patient and follow the instructions exactly. This is how the system confirms the data handshake with the vehicle. After a few seconds, you'll see confirmation. Reading EIS data successful. At this point, the software will ask if you want to save the file. Always select Yes here. This saves a backup of the EIS data, which is essential for key generation and future reference. Once the file is saved, the system will bring you to the next option, Generate Key File. Tap on it. Now you'll see a list of available key slots. On Mercedes vehicles, there are typically eight key slots. I recommend that you always choose the last available slot. In most cases, that's slot 8. This avoids overriding any current active keys and keeps things organized. In this case, the slot we're selecting is labeled Half Smart. This means the key will need to be inserted into the ignition to start the engine, rather than being fully keyless. The system will now generate the key file. This process is fully automatic, and once completed, it will show a confirmation message and display the file path for your records. Tap OK and now the key file is ready. Next step, we'll now write this file onto a blank key. Exit the current screen and from the home interface go to Key. Then select Write B Key File. This refers to Mercedes-Benz BE style keys. The software now prompts you to insert the blank key into the infrared key port on the XP400. 
Insert the key into the designated IR slot carefully. Note that this slot is specifically designed for Mercedes BE style keys. Once inserted, the tool will write the data from the file directly into the key. This final step programs the transponder and vehicle specific data into the new key. You'll see a message, write completed. At this point, you're done. If you need to add more keys, simply repeat the same steps with the same EIS file, select a different key slot and generate another file. Once all keys are written, reinstall the EIS unit back into the vehicle, if it was removed, and go ahead and test your newly programmed key. It should. Turn in the ignition. Start the vehicle. Lock, unlock doors if it's a remote key. And show as active when scanned. One last thing. Let's quickly review the wiring setup again just to make sure it's clear. The standard OBD cable plugs into the car's diagnostic port. That cable goes into the G-Box too. The G-Box is powered using the same Altel charger that powers your tablet. From the G-Box, cables connect to the XP400, and finally the IR key emulator, APB125, is inserted into the ignition slot. In older kits, this emulator may be labeled APB102, that's okay, you'll recognize it by its shape. It's the only IR-style Mercedes emulator that comes bundled with the Autel IM608 series. And that's it! You've just completed a Mercedes key programming session using IR mode, the G-Box, and the APB125 key emulator. Once again, be sure all your wiring is clean and tight. Take your time during key writing and always save your key files for future reference. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.